Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at... Golden Knot. Wheat ale brewed with the juice of Chardonnay grapes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Blue Moon Brewing Company. It's fancy. Blue Moon Brewing Company is not really a brewing company. It's just a line of beers from Coors, Molson Coors. Okay. They're trying to be cute. Developed it. They're trying to be fancy. Developed in 1995, Blue Moon was actually started at the Coors Stadium, Coors Field mm -hmm. in Denver. Um, I can't remember the brewer, the brewmaster's name. And then the line has just been expanding. And they do mostly flavored beers, some unflavored beers, lots of spice beers. And this is their line, the uh, <clears throat> the vintage AO collection. Um, oh, before we get started, I would like to make a quick announcement. Um, so I'm graduating in May. I've been trying to apply to grad schools. It's a very expensive process. Um, I have a little GoFundMe page for donations. Um, no big deal. We'll put the link in the comments in case anyone has a little leftover Christmas spirit, perhaps. But just wanted to bring that up since I have an audience. <laughs> Do so. I'm really close to my goal. It's exciting. People have been really generous. Okay. She wanted Thanks. me to let her make that announcement. Yes. I'll let her make it. Okay. All right, I usually don't do promotionals for private funding issues. Well, you're not a poor college student, that's so. That's true. Now, that's a golden, <laughs> sort of hazy appearance. So pretty. There's not much head on it, it's very minimal. Yeah, um, very gold. Now, it's, it's, a, it's a, a wheat ale, they use white wheat. Can you hold this for a white minute? White wheat? Yeah, and they use uh, Chardonnay grapes. Um, Nelson not to be Sof confused with Concord grapes. Nelson Sauvin, Nelson Sauvin hops. Um, it, it's um, they say on Beer Advocate this beer has been discontinued, but I don't think I believe that because on the Blue Moon website, which is part of like I said Molson Coors, they're they're talking about it like it's still in production. It must so. have been recently discontinued then because you got. Well, yeah, but why would the website show it's that it's still made? It's not updated. Mm -hmm. Could be, but usually they would take that down. Nine percent mm -hmm. alcohol, two two international bitterness units, so there's no bitterness factor here. Good. It gets it gets a um, okay score in Beer Advocate, which would be like a C, 25 ratings though, only 25. All right. 23 out of 100 on rate beer, 48 out of 100 for the style 28 ratings. So we're only talking about, you know, 53 scores overall, and there was only one video review, and he, he thought it was okay, um, but he, he was being fair, and he said, he didn't really like wheat beer, so he had, you know, you have to take that into account. There's a code on the back, but I don't know what it means. Could that mean January 3rd, 2014? Yeah. 01314. Okay. Looks. Or it could be March 1st, whatever. But it's, it's, you know, it's not too old. I bought this at Matherns. It's 5.99 for the bottle. Okay. The aroma. Hmm. Hmm. That's a strong 9% alcohol. This is a very strong beer. Definitely smell that sweetness. It's an unusual aroma. I can smell the Sweet. grape, like grape juice, or I guess wine. Yeah, grape skin, almost like yeah. wheat, white wheat bread, maybe. Almost tastes the grape more than the wheat. I mean, smell. Yeah, it's a strange smell. It's hard to describe for me. Yeah. It's I don't odd. know. I guess I get the grapes more. It does kind of smell like wine, though. <sighs> I mean. It kind of reminds me of some Belgian beers. Um, I don't know. It's hard. I don't know what to make of it. I just thought it was strange. I also like their series, their graffiti series, like Tongue Tied, and the I other ones. Those. Yeah, they're they're a little less expensive. They're interesting. They they made a whole line of these beers made with wine grapes. Mm, nice. Let's go with the flavor. Oh, cheers, because we have fancy. Yeah. Okay. Well. I don't know. That's different. What? No bitterness, but... Yeah, it tastes like white wine mixed with beer. Just literally, just mixed up in a... Just, you know, yeah. like two separate things put together. I don't... Yeah, they say it's 100% wheat. There's no barley. It's just malted wheat, white wheat. So think of like... White wheat bread. There's a it's brand. Strong. There's a there's a brand of bread you could buy. It's called white wheat. It's it's strong and dry. Yeah, this beer is strong. It's very boozy. It's alcoholic. You can taste the alcohol. I thought it would be almost like a mead, 
Because yeah. they're supposed to be sweet. Cause Don't go behind those love, clouds, you sun. Um, I love a good mead. I have never tasted it. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. No, we should no, do it. No, no. It could be an off track. You could wear one of your little crazy outfits to get you like a Viking helmet. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. Um, the mouthfeel is medium, I guess. It has some body to it. The finish, like you say, is dry, like champagne. Yeah, yeah. It's like sort of carbonated. I don't see any bubbles. It's like there. the mouthfeel of champagne, um, like a uh, yeah, see bad wine see mixed some with screams. some wheat beer. I do see some bubble streams? Bad wine. And then put in a yeah, no, like some five dollar wine, like some no, not even Arbor Mist. It's not sweet enough. Like some. I don't know. Okay, well, it's not my thing. Um, I don't really like Some wheat beers. Wine. To be fair, I don't really like wheat beers. I'm not much for wine. Um, I do enjoy wine. But this is. I'm not really much for juice. I don't really like juice. Um, this is okay, like they're saying on Beer Advocate. I guess it's okay. I give it a B, a C. It's average. If I wouldn't go out of my way to recommend this to anyone. You might like this kind of thing. I don't know, but I mean. It's, if you ask me, is it worth trying? I mean, if you want to pay five ninety nine for the bottle, I guess, but I wouldn't drink it again. Um, no. Just go get some of that cheap, some of that wine with the rooster on the label. Set. What is that? I forget what it's called. It's cheap. it's usually five or six dollars for a bottle, and it's not too good. No, it's good. I mean, it's good. Six dollar wine. I'm not low a connoisseur. End. That's what I can afford. But low end wine, yeah. I'm saying I'd rather drink that than, than, this, than this, which is the same price. Yeah, for a bigger. I mean, and for a bigger bottle. Mm -hmm. So Goliath. Maybe that's what it's called. Okay, it doesn't matter. Goliath. I don't know. We don't recommend this. No. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm giving it a C. I'm saying it's average. It's like okay. It's not undrinkable. I mean, yeah, I'm not no. Gonna it's waste not making it. me want to like bottle. vomit, but I'm not having like a pleasurable. So what would you just give it in a letter grade? You sound like you're about to give it a D, like poor. I don't know. It's like, it's it's like maybe like a C minus, like that kid in the class that you know they're trying and they're maybe trying something new, even though it's not exactly what you asked for in the assignment. You gotta respect the in, the you know the ingenuity, but at the same time you don't want you know to. So maybe they tried something. They, it's not working out. But maybe they'll do better next time, so you don't want to like fail them. And we haven't it's not tried. Horrible. And we haven't but, tried. Yeah. Um, the other ones of the series. Either. Oh, I don't. Know Says about enjoy doing chilled, that. contains sulfites, and oh, I had the Samuel Smith's organic chocolate, chocolate stout. stout. And how did that go? Very good, way better than the Youngs. Mm -hmm. Very good. They had an apricot awesome one. We beer. should review. I've seen it because that sounds nice. Nicer okay. than this. Okay. Yeah. Well, sorry <laughs> it didn't work out, but um, <laughs> if okay. you ever see this, and you may not, because it could have been discontinued. I see why if that happened. All right, if you feel like it. All right. Wouldn't be surprised. Thanks for watching this video production and hey, mm. you never do it till you try it. What can I say? Y'all come Merry on down. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Yep, and y'all come on down to New Orleans.